our third unit for the APA MLA course and today we're going to be looking at punctuation. So punctuation of course has one big issue right from the beginning and that is American punctuation or English English, British English punctuation. So in this class I'm going to be emphasizing American punctuation and the APA manual is using American punctuation obviously because it's the American Psychological Association. So we're going to emphasize the American punctuation. It's good to know both. However, most journals are going to be in the American style. So it's good to learn the American way. Let's begin by looking at the basics, which is the comma. How to use the comma. Now, it may be easy to say these things are really simple. Everybody should know these ideas, but my experience is they're not that simple, especially since many of our learners have a different first language like Chinese, Japanese, or another European language that comma usage, the period usage may be different. Especially for Chinese learners where the comma, period, and all the other kinds of punctuation is really very differently used. So the first thing we need to look at is the serial versus the Harvard comma. So here we can see the American way which is we have a list for example warm, sunny, and comfortable. And if we have warm, sunny, and comfortable you can see that we have the comma before the and right here this one here. In the British style we often just skip that. You can see there's no uh, comma there in the last uh, serial part. So in this class we're going to emphasize the American approach so we're going to always have that comma there, right? Question marks and punctuation. Here's an example. Jones 2015 wrote, no factor is more important although not all researchers support this. Let's take a moment to look at this example because it's an excellent example. It's a little bit confusing. First of all, we have a quotation here. So here's a quotation mark and here's a quotation mark. So this is a quote. This is going to be from a researcher and we cite the researcher here, Jones 2015, and we're going to actually say what that person wrote. So we're okay citation-wise. We're not plagiarizing. This is quite all right. You can note though that we have a comma here. This comma is beginning just before the quotation. So this separates our introductory clause which is Jones wrote. He did something. What did he write? We have the quotation here. And then we have our writing, my writing here, although not all researchers support this. He did not say this, I said this. So this is a great little example and you can see the key point here is that this comma at the end is going to be included on the inside of the quotation mark. So inside the quotation, please take a note. There is no space before the comma. There is no space after the comma here because it is right up against a quotation mark because quotation marks have no space before them. There is one space after here though and that's just before the word although. We'll be looking at more examples as we move on. Here's the British approach. It would be Jones 2015, no factor is more important. Let me clear the screen here for us. No factor is more important, although not all researchers support this. There's a couple differences here between the American and the uh, British approach. And you can see, for example, the first point being this quotation mark. This is not using double quotations, but using single quotations. And you can see that the comma here is on the outside of the single quotation mark. No space before, one space after. So that is really the difference between the American and British approaches. Let's look at some other differences and that would be in dates. 
So here we have the American common usage of the date, which is, for example, January 1, 2017. No space before the comma, one space after the comma. In the British approach, we would reverse things a little bit, and we'd have, we collected data on 1 January 2017. No comma there at all. There's no comma any place, right? And we put the day first. Another difference in the British and American styles would be the use of periods with titles. So for example, in the American style, we would say, after delay, Mr. Smith, and here you can see Mr. has the period here, left the factory to care for family issues. But in the British approach, we would say, after a delay, Mr. You see that? Mr. Smith left the factory. No uh, periods there at all. Left the factory to care for families.